The old brain, also called the reptilian or the lizard brain, refers to that part of the brain that fishes and reptiles also have. For millions of years, the main concern of living organisms was survival in hostile conditions. Predators were everywhere and quick thinking was required to survive. The reptilian brain works on the survival instincts of fight or flight. Another brain system called neocortex does the opposite of this. Instead of basing decisions and actions on instincts, neocortex likes to chew on the incoming sensory information. You can think of this system as the expert second opinion on the sensory inputs received, much like going to a different doctor for another opinion. The lizard brain decides a course of action based on instincts, while the neocortex takes decisions based on deliberate thinking. In the modern age, we rarely face survive or die predatory situations. Instead, we face different, more complex problems that require us to think deeply and not rely purely on instincts to make decisions. Problem happens when sensory input our brain receives is wrongly interpreted as a threat to our survival. The lizard brain then hijacks the neocortex and does not give it a chance. Think of your reaction when you get angry. It really feels like your thinking has been hijacked and even though a tiny rationality tells you to maintain your cool, the hijacker's demands are simply too much and your rational thinking gives in to your anger. No wonder they ask you to count till 10 when you feel anger swelling inside you. It's a simple technique to give your neocortex a chance to kick in. Lizard brain also adds a lot of negativity bias in your thinking and makes you dwell on the negative far more than the positive. This negativity bias made sense in primitive ages when situations faced meant life or death. But today, negativity bias proves detrimental to your thinking. Think how one dislike on a YouTube video you post makes you feel far worse than the elation you feel on getting 8 likes. Negativity can make your happiness very fragile.